All right, guys, welcome back to the next lesson, which is color grading module 5.3. And more exactly, it's how to color correct the footage filmed indoors with good lights and even studio lights. I know this course is for beginners and you may not have access to good lights or you may have, I don't know. Either way, I'm still uh, review this uh, situation because you may have access in the future and uh, this will help you tremendously either way. So uh, as I promised, three other shots as well. Again, you will find them uh, in the link below to download and you can uh, follow along. So let's start with this clip. This was an interview I did last year to my friend. He's a photographer. We filmed in his house. I mean, in front of him, I put a huge, huge softbox and uh, behind the softbox was a lamp and for some decoration he uh, turned on his lamp on his desk over here. Now, simple as usual, going to color page, we have uh, three tabs over here. When we look at parade, we can increase the highlights without losing information, I can go and go. And the shadows, not as much, just a little bit. And voila, you see, I erase the contrast night and day already I mean the footage is already usable of course if you're a perfectionist like myself we will still gonna slightly adjust the color balance it ain't much it's a minor difference but it's a I think it's about the personality reason if you like to be very perfect or, or not either way the color grading process as I'm showing you is very fast and effective. Now going to lots, now we can see what works best. I like this one. Yeah, that's, that's just one. Okay. Before, after. Before, after. Now, I didn't get too much deep into the skin tones. And I, even though I like this lot very well, I'm not sure if the skin looks proper. And uh, of course my eyes tells me it's good, but uh, the best way to see it is to use the vector scope with this line and I'm gonna go use this uh, pipe shift H I have a plus I need to select the full range of his skin all right so if you look over here it, it is slightly I mean it's not directly on the line just go slightly up and as a test I deactivate the the LUT going back still the skin tone was not pretty much pretty good exposed and this may happen I'm sure you may notice that Canon colors are a little bit different compared to Sony colors of course each uh, camera sensor manufacturer has their own way of processing color and uh, in his room in this situation with the lights I used the skin tones are a little bit off so uh, we need to have uh, so we need to use these filters to make it more fine-tuned before that I want to select only the skin thankfully the beer was not selected so we're gonna roll and see okay no I, know I don't need the eyes uh, okay that's pretty good Okay, the background, I need to remove it, okay, uh, these things are, are, will not be so disturbing. I'm curious also that the shirt cut <laughs> also selected, again, these strange things can happen and uh, I'm glad that I picked this shot. Go to clean black and you have these edges being more soft. And then to clean white. So when you change the color from the gain here, you will not have uh, again color artifacts appearing. Even though you expose correctly, because it was filmed on the 8-bit camera, you still may find color artifacts. So this is the reason you're using clean black and clean white. And some blur, of course, it's also very useful. Now, just slightly adjustment on the gain here. 
right? Okay, now the skin actually looks too much yellow. Shift H and look after, before, after, before, after. And it's it's a little it's it's going to the natural color of the skin, but I still don't like it, and I'm as usual decreasing the saturation. So before, after, and you have to play here a lot more because uh, I still don't like it. I still don't like it. Before, after, before, after. Let's increase the situation. Okay. Now this is a little bit better. It's it's a minor adjustment. You see? Before. Take a look. And after. Let me zoom in for you to make it more clear. This is after, before after before it has like too much red on the sides and with this like it brings a more natural feeling to the skin all right okay going to the next shot this one was filmed in a photo studio here you have not only one light source i think it was three you have uh, two on the sides and one uh, far apart uh, in front of her, like it was very, very far apart. A huge, powerful source, uh, light source, was hitting on her face, and uh, yeah, this is indoor situation you may encounter. Let me pick a frame. This one is good, so we have the skin is exposed. All right, three tabs as usual. Going here. Here we, sh we should be cautious about highlights, to not make her clipping. And again, big spots are on her skin, so make sure you are still under 800 on the scale. And then the shadows, let's go back a little bit, okay, that should, should do the trick. Before, after, before, after. And here the white balance was pretty much okay. I think I nailed it from the spot without needing to adjust the gain. This again can happen when you will get pretty much used with your camera. And let's pick a lot. Okay. Okay. 16, 17. Okay, this one looks unusual. Yeah, we can use it. And I like the skin. Got pretty good. If you are a perfectionist like myself, and you have time, you can uh, double check, of course. Oop. So, sorry. Shift H plus. Picking up the color. Vector scope. And if you look, it's pretty much okay. You can raise a little bit the saturation, and you're good to go. After, before, after. Let me zoom in a little bit. Make sure it's full, yeah. After, before, after. That's more like it. Before, after. Now it looks way more pleasing. No color artifacts, skin is exposed, the lot is doing his job. Now let's go to the next shot. This is another photo shoot. I picked up this shot because you have some lights here in the casino, but they're not so powerful. So I reused this huge light sort with a softbox, which is again, it was during the night, it was indoor. Perfect way to show how I am color grading this because here is a good situation. Again, going back to the contrast, parades, raising up the highlights just a tiny bit. Uh, don't worry if you have clipping over here, it's because of this uh, umbrella, it's still white, 
still no details to show so we're good to go we just have to pay attention to the to the skin and then we're getting the shadows down not as much just a little bit and now you see after uh, sorry before after before after it adds a more punchy look and cinematic feeling now again the white balance it's still pretty much okay I'm not sure what to balance it, like white is white, blue is blue, the skin uh, look proper. Again, well, I will not use uh, color uh, correction, now I'm going directly to LUTs. This one is cool. I remember I used on this one, uh, it was a Jim Urban LUT. Give me a sec guys, it was here. No. Yeah, this one. And again, sometimes when you put a lot, it's too intense. So you have to go back and uh, recalibrate your uh, your contrast, right? Okay, this is it. This is amazing shot, amazing colors. It's like it's not pure black. It's uh, black with uh, deep blue. So yeah. So this is how you color grade indoors having proper lightning or studio lights thanks for watching and see you on the on the last less favorite situation when it comes to color grading